Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a capsule selection. Today, we're going to dive into one of the most dynamic minimalist houses on the market. This is the Labo. And what I'm going to bring to you from the Labo are two great fragrances that come off with the Fall Allure. This is attraction to its best. This is the scent Santal 33 and the scent of Rose 31. Two distinctive woody style of fragrances with a natural essence of floral components that just come off phenomenal in fall wear. When it comes to this minimalist house, this tandem is ultimate in fall allure. So if this sounds like the type of content you think that you'll enjoy, pull up a seat, pour a glass, and of course, let's enhance. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to The Dry Down, the lifestyle channel where we as enthusiasts aspire to enhance and elevate our olfactive sensory experiences through the understanding of the different aromas, faucets, and nuances of scents, cigars, and wines. I'm your host, Chris. Welcome to today's experience. Today, I thought it'd be a great idea to just tap into one of my favorite houses on the market when it comes to minimalists and the way that they create and build their fragrances. One that really captivated me early in my journey and one that of two of these fragrances that I have in my collection of the four, I continue to repurchase and refill, so to speak. And these are the scent of Santel 33 and Rose 31. Beautifulest, minimalist packaging. The scent profiles that come from these particular fragrances are phenomenal. First, I want to tap into what it is that Rose 31 has done for me and captivating me. Rose 31 is that, that very pointed, disturbing use of rose centifolia over a um, particular rose de Messina. When I first got this fragrance, I was maybe... This was about seven, eight years ago. So this is one of those fragrances that really introduced me into breaking into uh, masculinity of rose fragrances. Like I said, it was a almost a disturbing juxtaposition as to what I was used to wearing. It was always those aquatics, so sweet, warm aquatic, sweet, cool aquatic, some spiciness, some leathery. But when it came to the rose, I had to be introduced to it. And this is the first fragrance that really broke me in to wearing rose fragrances because of the masculinity of the um, high level ingredients of woody compounds using guaiac wood, cedar wood, and a spicy note of cumin. It also has some cooling effect, a balsamic um, olibanum in this one, creates this nice ethereal incense accord weaving its way through the sip. Rose 31, the rose damascene is slightly jammy, slightly sweet. The rose centifolia is that crisp, crisp green, um, light wearing ethereal style of rose. So it creates this captivating spiciness as well. Rose 31 has been one of those fragrances I truly enjoy wearing from the house because it creates this dynamic um, along with its brother fragrance, Santel 33, that you can wear these fragrances off and on each day in a week and it can actually fill the entire wardrobe with these two fragrances because they begin, to me, Rose 31 and Santel 33 can be great business fragrances, leisure fragrances, and nights out, evening, and of course daily. These are two fragrances that really, really do a thing for me. Now I have um, a, a decant of Te Noir, which I enjoy in the fall as well, but it's more of a spring scent to me. And then I also have another 13, which is a spring summer fragrance to me. But the way that Rose 31, sexy, appealing, and then Santero 33 come off on my skin, they both have a similar woody component but they go in deviating ways the way that they use them. One uses the heavy spice, Rose 31. And just going back, just back and forth between these two fragrances, you see how I'm feeling just the excitement of about to put these on my skin. One is my scent of the day, which is Rose 31. It comes off, let me see the opening. That spicy cumin hits you like a, um, a car going 30 miles an hour through a wall. It's very much so disturbing, like I said. And not disturbing in a bad way, it's almost one that just, it makes you take a step back as a gentleman wanting to put on rose, but once that rose lays on your skin, that rose is such a spicy floral scent that it's nothing feminine about it. It very much so puts you and lets you know that you're wearing a masculine fragrance because of the vetiver and its dry nature, smoky, smoky dry nature, and then the smoky dry nature of also adding the guaiac wood. It's sexy, it's appealing, it's done by um, one of these master perfumers that you don't get a lot of um, notoriety from, Daphne Bougie or Bougie. Daphne, Daphne Bougie is, she hit a home run when she made Rose 31. It's not for everyone, which makes it one of those exclusive smelling fragrances as well. 
It's very, very gorgeous wearing, man. It's, it's one of those scents. It's a signature scent worthy. It's captivating, it's alluring, especially for the fall season because the components of this one very much so scream fall. The, the smokiness of the woods, the light wearing ethereal effect of the fall, uh, roses, and then that cumin, spicy, sexy, leathery style of cumin. Very much so a great fragrance. I love the way this one smells, man. It's one of those, like I said, I picked up this brand this morning, looking at which one I wanted to wear, and Rose 31 popped out, and then tomorrow, Santel 33. So let's get into Santel 33. So guys, next up in this tandem, when it comes to the scent of the Labo fragrances, like I said, they have a very distinctive characteristic about them. And most of the times what I'm finding, the ones that I enjoy most from the house of the Labo are the ones that have a very smoky woody component along with a rose and or iris and or jasmine. So to me, they do a, a perfect balancing act, bringing out fragrances that very much so straddle the line of unisex leaning masculine when it comes to fragrances I like to wear. The second one, of course, is Santal 33, a fall staple, a cult classic, and this one is a very woody powdery leathery smoky style of fragrance that has a lot of violet and iris in this and the things that captivates me about this one that makes these just one of the best smelling fragrances when i smell this on the air on people you're talking about a hair turning fragrance it's one the freshness of the orris root along with the violet is just fantastic and phenomenal when it comes to Santal 33 most times when you hear about this particular scent, you hear about all of the accolades going toward the smoky, burning, ashy woods. To me, the ambery effect, the leathery notes of this one, and also the cedar and um, uh, spicy sandalwood, man, the creaminess of that sandalwood along with the orris root. And that's what I don't hear enough about this particular scent that makes me raise an eyebrow because the orris slash iris is one of the best when it comes to masculine, feminine, like that masculine, um, edge to a feminine style of uh, floral take. So you will get this type of iris from Bois d'Argent. This is the type of iris that's used in this one, that very rich, earthy, green, grassy appeal of orris root and iris. And to me, it just goes off phenomenal. You get the slight gasoline, uh, petroleum, petrolic smell of violet in this one as well, along with those ambria chords. And it's a cult classic for a reason, man. Santel 33 is an eye-opening fragrance because of what it does and why it caught New York on fire. It has been the scent of New York for years. Just a refill after refill worthy bottle. And that's the thing too about these, while simplistic in their scent opening, and that's one thing, they don't smell as complex when they open. They smell great, they have all great openings. To me, the complexity comes the way that the uh, perfumer has made the woodiness of each one of these fragrances. I'm talking about Rose 31 and Santal 33. The way that they were able to use the spiciness, the rose of 31, and then 33, the iris, orris, and woody compounds for that one. The woody notes of each of these fragrances is the most um, abrupt and intrusive into a wearer's fragrances, which makes them masculine leaning for me and will make me want to wear them. But they each have their own powdery nuance and floral aspect that makes it so much appealing to a feminine nose that they want to come around you, they want to smell you, they want to compliment uh, everything that you have about these particular scents on. Rose 31 and Santal 33 are great fragrances from the labs of Malabo. Malabo has made these uh, for years and they just keep pumping out. This is one of the brands that's under a conglomerate that has not watered down their fragrances. In my opinion, each time I've gotten a refill, they do smell the same. Quality juices, the price point is at the 220 range, was not as too, you know, too much of a, a kill in the pocket when it comes to niche perfumery. And they're unique. That's the thing about it too. Sometimes, you know, Santal 33 has got some followers on the market who want to kind of elaborate on the scent, but no one has really quite touched this perfectly, at least that I have smelled. So Santal 33, the perfect sandalwood fragrance with orris root, leather, some ambers in there, some warm, cozy spices that are in there. Very, very well tamed fragrance for the summer, I mean, for the fall of 2024, along with its brother fragrance, Rose 31. Two perfectly done, let's get a good picture of those together. Two of the most perfectly done tandem fragrances to wear throughout a week and just get one of the, like, have a perfume house on your skin for the week, man. And that's what I'm going to enjoy this week. I'm excited to bring both of these out and excited to bring this overview to you guys, man. Santel 33, a great, warm, spicy, orris root style of fragrance. And Rose 31 is a phenomenal rose, spiciness, masculine rose. Two phenomenal fragrances, man. I'm excited to bring this to you guys' attention today to get out for the fall season from the house of Lalabo.
great fragrances, man. Ladies and gentlemen, that is my video for you guys today. I hope that me tapping into this tandem review of the Labo's Kings. These are two of the Labo's best fragrances. This is Rose 31 and Santal 33. To me, these are the ones in my collection that I've come to really give a, uh, a accolade or, or a giving them their flowers at any point in time. When someone asks me locally, where can I go get some fragrances? I'll point them to the Lalabo Labs here in Detroit. I'll also point them to a few different others, but when it comes to a very unique fragrance that have um, sex appeal, allure, and a great fall wear, Lalabo makes some fantastic fragrances. So to me, offering this as overview, Rose 31 and Santa 33 was a pleasure. Um, as always, if you guys got something entertaining and educational from this particular video, just pop a like in the comment below. Let me know what you guys think about the fall wear of a lot more fragrances. Are these two on your list to wear at all? Because to me, they're definitely going into the rotation this particular fall. Okay, until next time, until next video, you guys have a blessed day. Peace.